Welcome to this introduction session to Blackfire I.O. Blackfire I.O. is a Central Labs brand. Central Labs is actually the creator of the Symfony PHP framework, and we have been building web applications for our customers since almost 20 years. Most of you already know that Blackfire is all about PHP performance management. And what's really important is that the kind of problem we're trying to solve are actually for the end user and therefore your business. There's a lot of metrics now on the market that show how quick users can be in leaving your website and forgetting about their cards just because they would have to wait a bit too long before the checkout completes. Now there's one thing we know at Sensor Labs is that the longer you wait for solving an issue, the more it's going to cost you. Basically, as soon as uh, your code is going to move from your development machine to a test or staging machine, it's going to involve more people, more time, more resources in general, so definitely a lot more money. And obviously, by the moment that you reach your production server, then you're going to impact your customer. And that's exactly the kind of problem we wanted to solve also for ourselves. So we built a tool that was able to really measure exactly what is going on in PHP and how the code was consuming resources because we were not able to find anything on the market that would be suitable. As soon as we had something that made sense, we also figured, well, we can probably put that on the market. And that's how Blackfire was born. A tool for developers to really look at their code wherever it is deployed and make sure that they understand exactly how it behaves and how they can improve it. I started by saying that you should worry about performance as soon as possible when you develop your applications. Now, Blackfire is actually made to be used on any environment where your code is deployed. Of course, you want to start with development where it's going to be a lot more flexible and you're going to have a lot more agility in trying new things to uh, optimize your code. Now, obviously, by the time you reach test and staging, it's going to be a great tool to help you validate your code changes and make sure that you comply with your performance expectations with your service level agreements. And of course, by the time you reach production, it is where you will have the real traffic and the real data, the real context, actually. And it can be about detecting simple things such as cache configuration, but in general, you actually need to understand within the real context how your code behaves. Blackfire's core is a profiling utility. It is a measurement tool that will enable developers to understand exactly how their code behaves and how it's consuming resources. Such a stable measurement tool enables, of course, to reproduce the results anytime and therefore to compare them. And on top of that, Developers can now also write performance tests. Just like unit tests or integration tests, they will now be able to make sure that their code behaves according to their expectations. Now, of course, this is also something that you want to automate as much as possible. And that's also what Blackfire enables to do. We made it flexible enough so that you can actually integrate it within your workflows, tooling, and current infrastructure. Now the final layer is all about making things even easier. Blackfire is able to detect whether your code is complying with a set of best practices that we defined also with a network of partners. Magento Commerce selected Blackfire to be part of the Magento Enterprise Cloud Edition package. There is no extra cost and developers working on Magento Cloud can use all of the features of Blackfire Enterprise. Within the cloud package, there is actually three different performance management solutions. It includes Fastly, New Relic, and Blackfire. Fastly is your content delivery network. It is basically the tool that will put your content as close as possible to the end users. Now, between New Relic and Blackfire, we've had a lot of times to question on what is the actual difference. Well, New Relic is here to supervise all of the traffic that comes to your production website. It gives a lot of very valuable information on performance of the infrastructure and also on the code. But for a very specific reason, it cannot go as deep as Blackfire does down into the code. The reason is, in PHP, measuring performance impacts performance. In order to measure performance, you actually need to instrument the code. And that instrumentation is actually about executing more code. So 
by trying to measure performance, you're actually generating what you can call an overhead. The strategy of New Relic is to do that for absolutely all of the traffic that comes to your site. And therefore, they can give you information on the user level, but also they can aggregate that into statistics that would, for instance, let you know that about 70% of your users are facing slow load times on a page. Now, Blackfire is actually never instrumenting end user requests. It's just going to instrument the requests that a developer or that a developer tool is going to trigger for profiling purposes. And therefore, it will never impact end users. In the meantime, we actually can gather a lot more data on how the code behaves and therefore give you all of that information. It seems pretty obvious to say that you cannot optimize what you cannot measure, but that's exactly where Blackfire makes the difference. In general, within the first hour of use, developers can find really amazing improvements by just seeing something that they would have never seen otherwise. Going at the function call level, Blackfire is actually going to be able to drill down in different dimensions how the code is consuming the resources. There is the wall time, which is the overall PHP execution time, IO time, which is the time that PHP is waiting for an input or an output, CPU time, and that is pretty obvious, CPU and IO gives wall time. Then there is the memory, network calls, HTTP requests, and SQL queries. That information is computed and displayed in a call graph view, which basically shows the sequence of function calls, which are eventually aggregated in order to show you how a single function call is able on its own to consume more resources than the others. Then we've put some color codes on so that you can easily figure out where is the critical pass or which function call in itself is consuming more than the others. Now that you can measure and that you can compare measurements, you want to follow the best practices of testing. And Blackfire makes that very easy. It is just basically about creating a new YAML file that you store and deploy together with your code, where you will be writing in a very descriptive way what are your performance expectations. Thanks to the native support of Magento-specific metrics, developers will be able to figure out very fast whether it is their usage of the Magento framework that is incorrect, or if it is their business logic that needs performance improvements. Once those tests are written, any new profiling session will check if the tests are passing or failing. As you understood, Blackfire makes it possible to be very proactive on performance management and do that before the code actually hits production. Now, of course, what you want is to have that automated as much as possible. And that's where the Magento Cloud integration platform really shines. By deploying automatically any new branch to a new isolated environment anytime a developer is pushing some code, Blackfire can also be triggered automatically to run all of the tests and hook back at the commit status level, so you know before merging your code if you're matching your performance expectations or not. The next really cool automation is going to be on production. We already saw how complementary New Relic and Blackfire are. Well, there is actually an integration between the two of them. Where New Relic is going to be extremely good at detecting that something is going wrong somewhere and to trigger an alert that you can usually receive, for instance, on pager duty, actually, this alert is going to trigger the Blackfire performance tests. And therefore, you will have both the knowledge of something that is going wrong and exactly what is going wrong in your code. You can now forget about those support issues where you were not able to reproduce the end user's problem. The last layer is really here to help you get to the expert level in performance management, even if you start from the basics. We worked together with Magento Commerce and our own Solution Partners Network in order to define a set of best practices. Anytime you profile your code, we will check if you meet those best practices or not. If you don't, we will provide you with a full documentation that tells you exactly why we set such a best practice and how you can actually fix the issue. Plus, at the end, we'll also give you the code snippet so that you can copy-paste that into your own Blackfire YAML in order to make it a non-regression test.
This gives a very quick overview of what Blackfire is and why you should really be using it on Magento Cloud. We have a lot more resources available online, and especially the 24 days of Blackfire that tells everything about what we believe in in terms of PHP performance management with Blackfire. You can also check our blog on blog.blackfire.io for more news or case studies. Have a good day!